Good morning everybody! So it's Thursday and I'm going to be continuing on our discussion from last week in regards to how mindfulness activities can help you combat fatigue, especially um, in the, this day at the way we've been living the last, what is it, 18 months of lockdowns. So to, today I'm actually going to cover off um, one of my favourite activities which is come down here coloring <laughs> and how this can ha this mindfulness activity can help you combat um, fatigue so last week I went into how mindfulness actually helps and can how it will actually helps and how it, on the on what levels it can help so ne so today I'm just going to cover off what I've discovered in the studies for coloring so so yeah, so as I've already mentioned, so many people are suffering fatigue from the last 18 months. And this is what I actually stumbled upon. It was um, the other day I was, I myself was just so exhausted and I'd been talking to my mum on the phone, just saying how I'm just so tired and mum had said to me to go out for a walk. I don't know, there was something just telling me that I just didn't, I didn't have the energy to put my runners on and go for a walk. That's how exhausted I was. And... And I, and I was sitting on the couch, I because all my colouring is literally just here in in my coffee table, <laughs> where my couch where my couch is here. And I was just looking down at the last, latest piece I'd been working on, and I just kept looking at it and looking at it. And eventually, I just grabbed it and grabbed my pencils and just started colouring. And I was colouring for it was a good couple of hours. I was colouring. But as I was working away, I, I kept working away. What I, well, by the time I'd finished, what I had noticed was that I myself, my mind was a lot more relaxed, my body was a lot more relaxed, my eyes were relaxed. I was feeling a lot more um, energetic as well. I was actually feeling a lot more not so well, not so much energet, energized, but just replenished. I guess you could say. So. I actually started looking up some of the studies in regards to what whether other people had found this and so yes um, these were some of the results that I that I found so hang on I'm just getting down to them so so the way that it so the way coloring works and it's actually a really clever little thing when you actually think about it so as so when you finish a piece of work so I know this I think there's a piece just here that I have been working on oh here we go here's a completed piece so I've got so I've completed these stars so when you finish completing completing a piece of coloring you actually get a sense of achievement and through that sense of achievement it actually that's how it, it kind of actually can help you beat that well, the, some of the things that have, that contribute with fatigue. It helps you to relax, not just your body, but also relaxes your mind. The repetitive action of the patterns produces a calming and comforting effect. It can it helps you to stop thinking about all the things that you can't do or are outside of your control, and it focuses your mind on the activity um, at hand, which and which in turn clears your mind from everything else. So it's literally like you are emptying out everything that's running through your mind, especially if you are someone like I do, I'm one of these people, my mind is non-stop. It's constantly full of thoughts, it's constantly full of thinking about things I have, have to do and all of that. So colouring does actually help me with that, it does help me just to quiet that mind down and literally just empty it out of everything apart from what it is that I'm doing what apart from what it is I'm doing on hand which was which is coloring and there is something very meditative as well about just the the repetitive patterns whether whether you're whether you're circling as you're coloring or you're going up and down I mean, there's many different ways you can color so but it is a repetitive action and that repetitive action does have that meditative quality it also, colouring is fun. It's just, let's face it, it's fun and it brings back that sense of innocence from when you were a kid on, lying on the floor with all your crayons. It's fun. 
and it's joyful and like I said it brings back childhood it makes you feel happy in the moment so and that's literally how it helps you <laughs> beat that fatigue because it brings back that joy again of life and that innocence that you've once had of like I said being a kid on the on the ground and just with all your crayons spread everywhere and then obviously as an you can, I still use crayons now as an adult, I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> but I will use crayons and pencils and textures and it's just joyful. And a simple joy as well. So, I, so you know, I encourage everyone to go out, well, where you can, go out, grab your pencils, grab some, grab some colouring books and just give yourself that, that joy of just being able to just relax and be innocent and joyful once more. So, yep, that's um, today's discussion on colouring. We will discuss another of the mindfulness activities next week. Um, and I'll see you all then. Bye.